Hey everybody, welcome back to Maker's Playground HQ. I am Izzy and today we're on build number two of the tiny home van life prototype development stage for a cabinet that hangs on the wall, folds out into the table, you can, and then folds up and you can use it as shelves when it's not in the table position. Now, if you haven't seen video number one, I'll put a link in the description box below. Go look at that video before you watch this one because we're gonna compare the two builds. You guys are gonna pick which one you like the best and then I'm gonna take that to the next level. We're gonna build like a mag daddy tricked out version of the one that you guys pick. So, today is almost all CNC work, so for you CNC haters, uh, skip forward about four minutes and then, you know, watch the rest of it. So on the CNC today, we have one sheet of pre-finished birch. This is uh, stuff I get from my local cabinet supply company, um, about $45 a sheet. Uh, it's decent looking, but it always, you always end up with voids in it. So that's one of the things that we call it the cheap birch. Okay, next up I'm running my pocket passes with a 3 8 down cut. You can tell it's a down cut because if I spin it clockwise, the little spirals go down. And uh, this is going to cut out all my pockets. I'm going to run this for you CNC guys. I'm running this at 18,500 RPM, 250 inches per minute, and I can do 3 8 depth on that. And I can do it. In this case, we're only going an eighth inch deep for all the pockets. And for the last cut, I'm using what's called a compression bit. Now, I know this is going to look a lot different to some of you CNC folks uh, who have used compression bits before, but this is what a, a pro bit looks like from Royce. These bits are seriously off the chain. So this one I'm going to run at 20,000 RPM, 3 8 depth. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and screw this thing together anyway, even though I screwed up, which leads me to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Power Pro Screws, and we're going to use Power Pro's finished screws to bolt this whole thing together. Now, every once in a while as a YouTuber, I get to work with a company that I'm just thrilled the pieces to be working with. Now, Power Pro is made by Hillman, and any pro can tell you how Hillman makes great fasteners. I mean, they absolutely, hands down, make some of the best fasteners and hardware stuff in the industry. So Power Pro is absolutely no exception. I've been using these now for a few months exclusively and I've been using them on and off for uh, mostly exterior construction projects for years and they are top notch. You cannot get better. So we're gonna use some trim screws today and a trim screw is just like a regular wood screw. It's a little bit smaller in diameter in some cases and has a smaller head. So it's kinda, it's easier to hide. Is that focusing? Focus, yep, and you know, kind of. Can you see that little tiny head? Focus, there it is. Nice. So this is what we're gonna use to screw these together today. And uh, this will make it plenty sturdy for our application.
Okay, so keep in mind, guys, this is very cheap hardware. This is a prototype. We're not doing anything fancy. We're just throwing this together to show you guys the concept. Yeah. Okay, so this is prototype number two. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, check that one out. I'll give you a quick glimpse of it here in just a second. Um, real basic concept. The door is a bi-folding door, multi-directional folding door. And now remember, this is a very rough prototype. We can do something much nicer with either internal mechanism or higher end locks. So you have access to your cabinet this way, right here. Then you can lock it. And you can also fold it down and use it as a table. Now, in the last video, I had a bunch of people talking about putting legs. Absolutely do not want legs on these builds. Because you're in a van or in a tiny home, that's just taking up space. It just does not need to be there. So in this case, on this one, you'd have a couple. And we put one on here, but we have two cantilever pullouts that come out and support the weight of the table. Now you have access to it as a table as well. All your dishes are or whatever you're storing right there. So that's prototype number two, and no legs. <laughs> we had a lot of people in the comment section talking about legs. Absolutely no legs in these builds. We're gonna either use cantilever pullouts or the other style. Uh, I don't wanna have to deal with legs in either one of those situations. All right, before we look at cabinet number one, I wanted to do a shout out to PowerPro one more time. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's video. Guys, they have got a huge selection, all kinds of different wood screws, lags, interior, exterior, trim screws, lots of stuff. If you guys want to check out the PowerPro screws, I'll put some links in the description box to the one I use on a regular basis. They have everything you need. I'm telling you, baby, GoPro, it'll change the way you screw. Okay. So this is version one. Um, originally, we didn't have any shelves in here. We had these shelves floating, and the stuff just stayed right on the shelves. You set it down. These, this way supports itself. There's a little locking mechanism that locks this up. And then when you're done, you just lift the shelves back up. Now, we had enough people in the comment section that they didn't like the idea of the stuff coming down with the shelves. So off after the video, I re-added these auxiliary shelves right here. The other thing was the doors. So the doors would swing open both ways and in a van life, tiny home situation, those doors would just be in the way. So a couple of simple solutions for that would be to do a roll up right here. So you'd have a roll up instead of uh, folding doors. The other solution would be just to make the doors, add the doors right onto the framing that folds down. So when you fold down the top, the doors come with it. Pretty simple. And then when it's back in position, you have the door here or you have a roll top. Um, so you guys need to let me know in the comment section of this video which one of these builds you prefer. Now, if you haven't seen the full video, again, I definitely encourage you to go check out the full video to see all the details. And then let me know in the comment section below which one of these two builds do you guys like the best. Um, no legs. Remember that. That's the number one most important thing of this whole build is that we don't put legs on these. And then um, we're gonna take whichever one you guys pick, 
We're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna build a really fancy, nice, solid version of that. And whichever one you guys pick, we'll make plans for that particular version. And then we'll show you our build process for that as well. And we have a couple other tricks up our sleeves. So you won't wanna miss out on that. We'll get that video going as soon as you guys let us know which one of these we're building. Thanks for watching guys, as always, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video.